Hello, this is Caleb with God's Loving Sacrifice Podcast, where we talk about the Word of God and how it helps us get through today's world. I hope you learn and grow as you listen. The other day I was thinking about suffering, good people suffering, Jesus suffering. And I read a quote from Timothy Keller, if you don't know who he is. He was an evangelistic uh, minister. And it said, Jesus did not suffer so that we would not suffer. He suffered so that when you suffer, you'll become more like him. The gospel does not promise you better life circumstances. It promises you a better life. You know, a lot of times people say, well, why did God give them this disease? Or why did God give them that disease? Or why did God allow them to go through that? Whenever I hear that, my first thoughts go to the scripture where it says every good gift comes from the Father of light. So I look at those as being bad gifts, and so they must not come from him. Now, he does allow our suffering, but I don't think he gives it to us. One of the things that someone said to me, and this is what got me thinking about all of this, was the fact that Jesus was never sick. It never talks about Jesus being sick and have to go through sickness and infirmities. And how does he know how we feel about that? Well, he did bear our sickness, infirmities, disease, and our sins. Isaiah 53, 3 through 6 says, he is despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we did not esteem him. Surely he has bore our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteem him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we were healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. The beating that Jesus suffered was for our healing. The stripes, his bruises, those were how he suffered what we suffer. How could we doubt that he can feel what we feel? A lot of people say, well, you know, well, he did that. And now, you know, we don't have to worry about that anymore. God's taking care of it. But did he take care of it all then? Was it just like a one and done? He went to the cross, he died, he rose, that was it, he doesn't do anything else? No, it's not. Hebrews 13.8 says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So he suffered for us, for our sin, for our sicknesses, for our infirmities, our diseases. He bore all of that. But yet every time we suffer, he's still there with us and suffering right alongside us. He carries us during those times. He hasn't stopped doing it just because the cross is all over with. He continues every day to hold us in his hands and to heal. Think about how we were saved. First Peter says, who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sin, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. So it wasn't a one and done. It's a every day. Every day the Holy Spirit intercedes for us. Every day Jesus walks with us and goes through each thing that we're going through. When we cry, He's there to catch our tears. When we laugh, he's smiling. You know, Hebrews 4, 15 and 16 says, For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weakness, but was in all points tempted as we were, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of needs. He bore our sins. He gave us righteousness. He gave us salvation, but he didn't stop there. Again, he's the same yesterday and today and forever. 
what he did yesterday and in the past, he's doing today, and he'll continue to do it tomorrow. Christ didn't just bear our sins and our sicknesses. He still does. He still bears them. How many times has something happened to you and you feel this peace? You know everything's going to be all right. You feel the presence of God. And you know that we don't have to think all the way back to the cross. He's right here with us. For those people who feel that Jesus didn't go through sicknesses, you don't know what he felt through that torture that he went through. You don't know what God allowed to happen to him. But he's not allowing it to happen to us. He's there. He has his hand out. He's begging for us to turn to him. He's begging for others to turn to him. He said he'd never leave us or forsake us. So no matter what we do, our salvation was bought at the cross. And I've heard someone in the last week say, well, if you do something wrong, you might stomp on his mercy so much that he'll turn his back on you. No, my God doesn't work that way. My God is always there. My God wishes that no one would go astray. His mercy endures forever and ever. So how could anyone say that if you do too much wrong, you're going to walk on his mercy and he's going to turn his back? I've never heard of that. So when you're going through things and you wonder where God is, remember, he's right there. He was in the past, he will be in the future, and he's right there with you right now. I pray that you enjoyed today's episode. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave a message by contacting me on the website at www.godslovingsacrifice.com. And while you're there, you can catch up on all the other episodes, check out the reviews, and even read the blog. You can also leave a comment on Facebook at God's Loving Sacrifice. Thank you for spending time with us today. And until next time, may God richly bless and keep you.